Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about the interior angles of a triangle, okay? So the first couple pages are notes, so take notes with me, and then there'll be some problems for you to try, and then at the end you can see how you did, all right? So on the first page here, we, we have a triangle, and really there's only one major idea you, you need to remember. The sum of the interior angles of a triangle always adds up to 180 degrees, okay? So if I add up this angle here, this angle here, and this angle here, and I put them together, okay, it would make 180 degrees. All right, so the key rule is the sum of the interior angles always equals 180 degrees. So again, no matter what type of triangle it is, whether it's a right triangle or a scaling triangle, okay, the three interior angles always adds up to 180, all right? So if you turn the page, now that you know this, let's try some of these problems, okay? So here we have a triangle on the left-hand side, and we wanna solve for x, all right? And now that we know that the three angles add up to 180 degrees, we can write an equation, all right? So our equation is gonna be x, plus 75 plus 50 equals 180. And now let me simplify the left-hand side. So it's gonna be x plus 125 equals 180. And now when I take away 125 from both sides, x ends up being 55. So 55 degrees is the value of x. I'm going to put a 55 up here. All right. This one's a little more complicated, okay? But again, the, the rule is the same. All right, the three angles have to add up to 180 degrees, okay? Now, this one here is a right angle, so we know this one's 90 degrees. So let me write the equation. So we know that x plus 37, that's one angle, plus x plus 67, that's the second angle, plus our 90 degree angle is gonna equal 180 degrees. And now when I simplify the left-hand side, let's see, x and x is 2x, and 37 and 67 is 104, plus 90 equals 180. And now I can combine the 104 and the 94 so it's going to be 2x plus 194 equals 180. Now I'm going to take away 194 from both sides. So now we have 2x equals negative 14. And last but not least, when I divide both sides by 2, I'm going to get x equals negative 7. All right. Now if I wanted to know exactly what these angle measures are, I can plug in negative seven, right? So if I plug in negative seven for x, well, negative seven plus 37 will give me a 30. If I plug in a negative seven here, well, negative seven plus 67 gives you a 60. And guess what? If I add up the 90 plus a 60 plus a 30, we get that magical number of 180 degrees, and that's what we want, all right? So now that you know how to solve equations involving triangles, why don't you pause the video and try the next couple problems, and then when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you did with these practice problems. Okay, so the first one, we had to find the measure of the question mark. All right, and again, we know that the three angles together are going to add up to 180 degrees. So our equation is going to be 20 plus 130 plus question mark equals 180. And I know that 130 plus 20 gives you 150. So 150 is 30 away from 180, which means the question mark is going to have a value of 30 degrees. And there it is. All right. The second one we have x plus 59. 84 degrees and x plus 51, all right? 
So the equation is going to be x plus 59 plus 84 plus x plus 51 equals 180. And now when I simplify the left hand side, we're going to get 2x plus 194 equals 180. And this problem is actually very similar to the one up here in the notes, right? It's the same equation as this, which means the solution is going to be the same. So our solution is going to be x equals negative 7. All right. Now, to figure out the angle measures, let me plug in negative 7 for x. So negative 7 plus 59 gives us 52. And then negative 7 plus 51 gives us 44. And once again, if I add up 44, 84, and 52, we get a sum of 180 degrees. And again, that's what we want.